Hi friends, welcome back everyone to any trader can fly. This is Prince once again here. So today let us look into the last expiry of January month. So uh, usually last month is going to be volatile because many of them will be shifting their expiries. But I think today was very very easy for most of you reason because it was just one sided movement. So I also took up the trade little late because I did not want to jump in initially. You saw the last expiry how it was very volatile. So I just waiting for market to settle down and then I took my entries slowly. And then I'll show you how I adjusted, how I did my adjustments, and then how my uh, how I book my positions. All those things I'll show you in today's video. Also, I did options buying. That also I'll show you how I did options buying. How is that I took up my options buying positions as well? It's, it was a directional view, so when I took only optional buying, right? And also, friends, uh, in case if you're watching the channel for the first time, don't forget to press the subscribe button and also the like button. In case if you want to join our Telegram channel, you can always use the link which is provided in the description of this video. And also we have a dedicated app for learning. So use uh, download our app from the Play Store. Otherwise, you can use the link which is provided in the description. So without wasting much time, let me take you directly into the trade which we took today. So this is what the trade is all about. I mean uh, the market how it started off. You can see continuous uh, movement. Market was just trying to come down. Uh, one sided movement. And then, uh, since I was, a, I am a non-directional trader. Initially, I start off taking non-directional trading, and then based on the market movement, I do my adjustments. So that is why I did not go to take my positions initially because it was just going down. It was, even for the naked eye, we can clearly tell that it is going down. It is what does not nothing much complicated to guess the direction, right? So the thing which you have to keep in mind here is the VIX. Okay, the VIX also was horribly increasing. I'll just show you the VIX as well, and uh, uh, yeah. Let me just take you to VIX. Yeah, you can see this movement from the start. It was just going up, 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 up. So I was just waiting for the VIX also to cool down because in case if you're doing option selling and then if the VIX is increasing, it will not help you, right? Especially for the straddle sellers, that is the non-traditional traders. So then I was just waiting for a slow uh, retracement or you can say a slow sideways movement. And around 10:15, after 10:15, you can see that Bank Nifty started to consolidate. And I started slowly adding my positions. So premiums were good enough because of the increase in the IV. You can see that the premiums are also fair enough. Okay. So now uh, time close to 10:45, friends, and then you can see Bank Nifty. Although it was trying to consolidate, again it was trying to come down. It is going down. And then <clears throat> this was a level at which I had decided that I will go directional as well. Okay. So we I had a very good breakout at this level. So. See this this is the level which I'm talking about because you can see it is testing multiple times. So because of which my put already stop loss got hit because of the sideways move, downwards movement and I went into optional options buying as well. You know that VIX increasing then uh, it is very good for options buyers and also from the morning it is continuously going down. So after a slow consolidated sideways movement again bank will start to go down. My when my Call, uh, call put stop loss got it immediately I took up a buying trade as well buying position as well so you can see I have not gone into big quantities I have just taken only small quantities so selling I started off with 900 quantity but uh, uh, selling was a 900 quantity now put is one third of that that is in 300 quantities only slowly step by step my plan was to uh, do pyramid and increase the buy quantity this was the overall plan right so in case if bank nifty goes down from here it is going to be super duper lottery for me uh, because i have the buy positions as well and also i am having a good decent enough call position and i have not taken my entire positions also it is just uh, i'm just testing the waters i have just taken a small quantity only and we have still a lot of time which time only till 10 10 45 as of now okay so this was the overall plan which with which i went and now you can see time is getting close to 11 o'clock but bank nifty is just you know uh, moving sideways it's not still not taken the breakout you can just see it is just moving sideways and then when this kind of sideways movement is there you would have seen from many expiries there is going to be a breakout which is going to happen anytime any set so now that it is moving sideways i started adding more and more positions because i need to utilize my capital as well it's already 11 o'clock so you can see that slowly slowly i started adding more positions now i added again 100 quantities of uh, straddle both call and the put and the previous positions whatever I had also I am continuing. So again I have not added full quantity I am just waiting patiently. Right. So this was how uh, my uh, positions as of now are there. Okay. So I started adding my uh, positions slowly step by step. So that in case if it gives a good breakout I can be in very good profit. That was the overall plan. But I am 
negatively biased. I am in the sense my positions are uh, made in such a way that in case if it goes down, it's going to be super duper profit. And you can see rightly what has happened. Bank Nifty crashed and it came down. And then let me just show you my PNL. So this is the advantage of taking a directional view. So you can see already we are in a good profits of around 1 lakh 14,000 because of this crackdown which came. Okay, and then Bank Nifty started coming down aggressively. You can see profits also increasing aggressively, right? So now I am completely naked. I am only into put positions. And if slight retracement, I thought of closing my put positions. So I close my put position when there was a slight uh, retracement. But the sold positions I am still maintaining. Uh, I am just thinking that once again any retracement comes, I will close off my uh, call positions as well. So profit is in decent uh, 1,68,000. And I can see slight retracements coming. And also uh, I had almost, uh, I can say that uh, uh, long weekend I don't want to take much risk and also my monthly targets have already been met so I do not want to continue the trade I ha I decided to close my positions quickly uh, the retracement started coming up so then I started close because you can see here I am completely naked I have only have the call positions and I don't want to again hedge and take the put positions and again wait reason being um, as I told you it's a long weekend I am planning going planning to go out I want to go peacefully happily and also monthly targets have been met so I decided to close my positions. Uh, this was in uh, quantity is more than 900. So I need to spread the quantity and uh, uh, book the profits. Okay. So we can see decent profit of 1,75,000. It's fair enough. So finally I closed my positions. You can see the retracement has started to happen. Uh, that's why I started quickly. I closed my positions because I do not want the market reverse and then again we lose all the profits whatever we have made. So Close to 1 lakh, 1, 1, 1 and a half lakh is what we made for today and I should say 1.5% is decent enough considering the uh, overall how the January month was. It was like shadow off very good and then in, in center there was very few volatile days as well. So it was a very rough and tough kind of journey in the month of January. So this is a decent profit. So this is how I book my profits for today. I should say it was a very easy day. There was not, nothing much analysis need to be done. Uh, directly when the market started itself it was going down and then I'm sure many of you would have made good money today and hope you like today's video if any doubts any confusion you can always whatsapp me my number is 8095 thank you and have a nice